about exports of drugs for R&D. So this, we understand, is a relief for Natco and Alembic. So let's uh, pull up the intraday chart uh, of Natco and Alembic and see if there is any kind of a positive reaction. Uh, yes, indeed, Natco Pharma has moved up 2%, while Alembic Pharma will also be up for you on your screen. Natco is, in fact, gaining ground as we speak, now up close to about 2.5%, where the High Court has approved the exports of drugs for R&D. To get more on this, we're now joined by Ashmit uh, Kumar. Ashmit? Uh, right, so what we understand is that Bayer had moved to Delhi High Court in the first leg of litigation against uh, one Natco and two Alembic Pharma. Uh, the concern across both these companies expressed by Bayer was identical. The concern raised was that the drug uh, to which, which uh, the generic versions of which are being made by Natco and Alembic, uh, those drugs are patented drugs, and for the duration of the patent, these two companies, Natco uh, as well as Alembic, should not be allowed to export that drug. Now, the contention uh, uh, before that is important to mention the drug in question. It's Sora Fenat, as far as Natco is concerned, and it's River Roxaban, as far as Alembic is concerned. Now, for these two drugs, uh, there was a heated contest between the two parties. Now, essentially, what Natco, as well as Alembic, had argued is that they are not exporting for purposes of sale to overseas markets, but really selling uh, to ensure uh, for R&D purposes, as well as for getting the uh, US FDA or regulatory clearances. Now, that was the contention that we understand this now has managed to cut ice with the Delhi High Court. The Delhi High Court, in a very brief order, has held that such exports can be permitted, especially in context of the fact that they are not for sale, that they are only for R&D purposes, they are only for purposes of seeking regulatory clearances, and that given that the patents in the U.S. are expected to expire in the next few years, this, the Delhi High Court has held, is a legitimate uh, case that has been made out by both NATCO as well as the Olympic uh, for limited exports, exports or to the extent of R&D, as well as for IGDP clearances. So towards, uh, towards that end, uh, this is uh, an important order where the Delhi High Court has cleared the way for Indian generic companies to begin exports uh, for the limited purposes, again, for R&D and regulatory clearances. And as far as this case is concerned, specifically, big relief coming in for NATCO as well as for LMB. Back to you. Okay, Ashmit, thank you so much.